Hey guys, this is Saturday morning on the Mountain View Cabin Campground area. Wanted to walk around for a bit outside. I didn't really do that much yesterday since there's a lot of bugs out. And since it was a bit cooler, I was thinking maybe the mosquitoes won't be as active. But uh, that, that didn't turn out to be true. They were still out here. But anyways, it's just kind of neat to walk around and uh, see the mountain view that the uh, cabins get their name for. Here it is. That was decent. Anyways, it's kind of the last day of the trip. Going to McDonald's again? Gonna get some breakfast. I believe I got um, the breakfast standard sausage McMuffin, something like that. Whatever the cheapest thing was. <laughs> and uh, yeah, got our day pass. Gonna be driving around Banff, I'm pretty sure. Yep. We're starting off with a visit to Emerald Lakes. It was very packed, so we parked far away. I'm gonna guess and say that it was like 300 meters away. Something like that. It, it took a bit of a walk to get to the, the lakes. And it seems a little bit different. I don't remember them having washrooms here, but there's washrooms. That's nice. And uh, yeah. We must have come when it was like off season or something because there was like barely anyone else here when we uh, first came here. But now it's really popping. People are loving this bridge. And uh, yeah, the canoe rentals are like $100 an hour instead of 160 <laughs> like at Lake Louise. So it's a bit more reasonable. And uh, yeah. Just hanging out on the bridge for a little bit. Seeing the vehicles go across to the, the cabins or resort or whatever is over there. We decided to walk around the lake, which is apparently a 5.3 kilometer walk. And uh, probably like no elevation really. We're just walking along the lake. My uh, right ankle, still feeling all right. And I'm keeping up, so that's good. Every now and again, you get to a little clearing spot and pretty nice view of the lake. Oh, and these were some loons? Yeah. Haven't really seen loons up close that much. So, kind of cool to see them. But, uh, yeah, we're on the other side of the lake here. And these little, like, mountain runoff, I guess, going into the lake. That's how, you know, gravity works. Water coming down from the mountain. Form is into a, streams and rivers. Yeah, look at that stream. Or a river. <laughs> yeah. So, pretty emerald-ish lake. Most of us wanted to go for a swim. But we didn't bring our swimsuits. We we're kind of like, eh, is it safe to swim in the water? Like, it looks nice, but why is it that color, you know? We didn't have internet at the time, but apparently you can't just swim in it. It's fine. You know, no riskier than any other lake, I guess. But, uh, yeah. At the end of uh, the, the hike around the lake, you walk through the... Uh, the lodges, town. We're kind of cool to see. Yeah, definitely fairly busy over there. Oh man, and the walk back. A little bit brutal after doing a long walk, but. We, uh, we were the last people to, uh, like, park in that parking lot, and then since we were away, like, even more people have parked, so. Crazy. I guess nearby is the Natural Bridge. I'm gonna come over here and look at this. This is the Unnatural Bridge. And then over there, yeah, that's the Natural Bridge. This is a better viewing angle. 
where you could probably walk across this. Although that rock on the right kind of seems... It'd be difficult to actually, like, get all the way across. Yeah. Just one of those neat roadside things. And I guess I ate a mandarin orange. Or a tangerine of some kind. Tasty. So, yeah. Looks like we're back in Alberta here. We've been kind of zigzagging. And uh, we're headed to Banff, I'm pretty sure. This is Banff. We, we're all hungry, so... We stopped at a and It was uh, extremely packed, and it took a while, but... We were all hungry, so... That's, you know, we got that a Then, uh, yeah! Let's see, we're parking at a train station. Aren't there Dandy and Adam? They're gonna go for a bike ride along a highway or something. I thought about going for it, but I was like, I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks for a two hour bike ride. I'll just hang out with Tyler and Alex. Yeah, Tyler wanted to go see this river and uh, maybe we would swim in it, but uh, turns out you're not allowed to swim in this river specifically. Not sure why. Oh well. It did start to rain, but we're hanging out underneath of this like covered thing on some benches for a while. And all in all, you know, a chill time. Eventually we got kind of bored and we started walking towards the downtown of Banff. There's apparently some uh, t-shirts uh, Tyler was interested in buying. Some souvenir t-shirts of Banff? Hmm? Interesting. So yeah, walking through. It seemed pretty nice. And um, yeah, after Tyler got his t-shirt and stuff. The guys are back from their bike ride. Apparently it was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. We're heading back to the car. Gonna get warmed up again. A little bit cold in the rain, but no biggie. Yeah, this is uh, the bike trail that they were actually riding along. Right next to the highway. That's one of the uh, downsides. Is that it is kind of loud some spots. I don't know. I mean, sometimes it goes away from the highway a bit. Probably be nice if it was a little bit further to not get less noise, but... Oh well. It was cool. They apparently also saw like a helicopter and a train in the bush. So, that's something. Anyways. Back in the car. I think we're pretty much just heading to Calgary now. If I'm, uh, right. And thinking that. Yeah. Every now and again, seeing some pretty neat views. Cement factory over there, that's cool. Right next to the lake. Yep. And here's that classic, where the mountains meet the prairies. So yeah, I think we're all getting hungry again. And, uh, Dandy has recommended uh, a barbecue place for us to go to downtown. So, that should be good. Apparently they're into barbecue here. I guess, I mean, people are into barbecue everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll see. This is, uh, the downtown's looking nice. We're going to Hayden Block, I think it was called. It is kind of funny, their uh, menu is like this one third, or I guess one sixth is food, and then they have like two sixths is like whiskey, and on the other side is also like different alcohol. I'm looking at the prices of some of these one ounce glasses. The most expensive was a thousand dollars. Mitcher is a celebration. Oof, crazy. But uh, yeah, overall the food was pretty good. I got a half a chicken and a potato salad. And uh, yeah, the white meat of the chicken was not dry, like at that Save On Food chicken. But uh, you know, even better is this barbecue sauce. They had like this huge gallon jug of uh, the house sauce, which I enjoyed. And uh, yeah. Here's a bunch of whiskey bottles. 
Hmm, crazy. But uh, yeah, Hayden Block, pretty neat place. Yeah, I'd recommend it. You know, it wasn't crazy expensive either, so that was kind of nice. Yeah, all in all, Calgary, decent, I guess. We went to the hotel, and that's kind of it today, guys. Later. <laughs>